Good afternoon, YouTube. If you may all the way to George Page coming to you live, live on YouTube. You know, it's just time flies so fast. You know, realize how much it you know it goes by, and and uh, it's just how you know how short the lifespan of a human is, and and how much you accomplish in that that amount of time. Uh, uh, the Bible says the uh, lifespan of human supposed to be a hundred years, and some people don't live that long, and some people come close to it. Well, this lady here, this is a queen, and she was just just uh, just a few years shy of that hundred years. And um, yesterday, she passed. This is one, Madam Cicely Tyson. And um, I saw this uh, last night on the news that Mrs. Sisley Tyson has passed away. <sighs> and it's just, you know, I just did a video recently where I uh, talked about um, Cloris Leachman. And, and, she, and she is just at the level, maybe even maybe touch a bit more than Miss Leachman, but just she's at that level, you know, and she has so many accolades over her career. You know, she has so many awards. She's been nominated. She's been, you know, she is a legend. I mean, and look at this. I mean, from her time she was, her birth to her her, her years growing up to the her to the, the end of her life, her accomplishments she has made. I mean, she started out as a fashion model and an actress. You know, she's she's been a star. Of, she's won. Um, awards from the from the you know from Emmys to Tonys to to Oscars. I mean, it's just you know her accomplishments, her accomplishments are just so you know you know. I mean, she's been she did so much in her time, and I mean, and the people she has the lives she has touched over those years. Oh. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started. And I'll tell you the story. And it's gonna be it's gonna take some time because it's so much about her, and I have to really condense it in so much time. Anyway, um, now Mrs. Tyson was born uh, in Harlem, December nineteenth, of nineteen twenty-four, and she's the daughter of Frederica um, Tyson, a domestic worker, and William Augustin Augustin Tyson, who was a, a, a carpenter and a painter. And um, she was uh, one of three children. Her parents were immigrants from um, the West Indies. Her father arrived in New York at the age of 21 and proceeded at uh, Ellis Island in, uh, you know, in um, August of uh, 1919. Now, her career, she discovered by uh, a, a, a magazine uh, photographer for Ebony Magazine. And um, she found success as a fashion model in her career. But um, her parents didn't like her doing um, fashion, you know, modeling. I mean, one point she was uh, thrown out of home, you know, for, the, for her choice to become a fashion model. But um, she liked it, you know, she found a niche, you know. But like I said, she has done so much of her career. If I said she's been a star of stage, screen and television. So, like I said, I am going to start with where like most actors start. At the early days, in the uh, is with um, uh, with this the, the big screen. Now her her Merchant Preacher debut was a movie called uh, Carby uh, Gold in 1956, and then her next movie in 58 was Odds Against Tomorrow, and then she was in a movie called uh, The Last Angry Man, and then in 66 she starred with the great Sammy Davis Jr. in a man called Adam. And she did some quite a few more movies along the way. But in 72 was she got her uh, Oscar nomination for best uh supporting actress in the movie Sounder. And if you know Sounder is a classic. And she did quite a few more movies around about the 70s like uh The River uh, uh Niger, uh A Hero um and a, a Sandwich, um Busted Loose with the great um, uh, Richard Pryor, and for a while she didn't do too many movies for a good part of the 80s, 
But she came back in 91 and she did the movie uh, Fried Green Tomatoes. As you remember, that's the movie with um, the late Jessica Tandy and uh, Kathy Bates. And in 97, she was with Lawrence Fishburne and um, starred in the movie Hoodlum about um, Bumpy, Robbins, um, Bumpy Johnson. And you remember she was um, Queen Madam, Madam, Queen Madam. You remember the part where, um, you know, Tim Roth was uh, uh, Dutch Schultz. And, you know, they threatened her and she told him, said, I have no balls. <laughs> yeah, she was, she was, she was mean in that movie. And then around the 2000s, she did a series of um, Tyler Perry movies. She was in the movie, uh, The Diary, the, Mad, the Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Uh, Medea's Family Reunion. Also, uh, Why Did I Get Married To? And also, he was, he was also in the movie The Help. I mean, the movie uh, Alex Cross, which was, uh, which was, you remember Alex Cross was characters that starred um, Morgan Freeman, but um, was it around about in 2012, uh, Tyler Perry played the character. And then she was in the uh, Quirky Clay movie to help with Viola Davis, you know. And also she was in a movie called, uh, her last movie was in 20, and in, in, in uh, 2020 was in The Fall of Grace. Now her... TV credits come for like the nurse, it was nurses, uh, to tell the truth, in nine six three, and also Naked City, I Spy, which was the show that starred um, Bill Cosby, which was his, and Bill Cosby won an uh, Emmy for best uh, supporting star of a drama series for that series. She also was on the series The Guy in the Light. Also, The Courtship of Eddie's Father, um, you know, Gunsmoke in nineteen seventy, and Mission Impossible. The uh, emergency, if you know, that was a show that was uh, kind of like a precursor to like a show like a, uh, you know, um, uh, Chicago uh, Fire and all these other of uh, um, series that are out now about ambulance and doctors and other stuff like that. Then um, she did a movie that owned her two Emmys. That was the uh, autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman. As you know, the story of a of a black woman who fought for against segregation in the South. And that earned her two Emmys. You know, and that's just one of her many awards she earned over her career. And then and she was in the movie Roots. Also she did the movie King about Coretta Scott King, the wife of uh, the slain um civil rights leader um Martha the King Jr. And also, she did a biography on um, the, the great Harriet Tubman called A Woman Called um, Moses. And she was also, in 89, she did the movie, uh, a, a miniseries called Women of Booster's Place. It was, I remember that movie, that was, I remember that it starred Oprah Winfrey, it had uh, Robin Givens, uh, Jack Kay, you know, it was a pretty good movie, you know, it was back in the day. And then she was in um, another movie which on straight 97 straight for made for television was called um you know Mrs. Scrooge Ms. Scrooge which was the uh <laughs> the female version of um the black female version of Ebenezer her name was Ebenita Scrooge as you know there was a she did one and you know the the late Robert Guillaume did a version of um of a uh, a black uh, Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge you know I forgot the name of his version but this was 97 and in 2000, she was on the series Touched by the Angel. And um, she also had a, she voiced an episode of uh, The Proud Family. And she, I remember a few years ago, she did an uh, episode of um, Law and Order, um, SVU. And she also uh, was on a, she did a, 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 a straight made for TV movie called Trip to Bounty, which was based on a play she did years ago. And then, also, she was on the series How to Get Away with, with Murder when she reunited with her co-star from The Help, uh, Viola Davis. And also, she's on other TV shows such as House of Cards, Madam Secretary, and her last series was in, 20, in, 19, in 2020, uh, Cherish the Day. But like I said, she also did plays. Her, her first play was um, The Dark Moon. And as I mentioned, um, the, the movie... The, the trip to Bounty, which it did in 2013, which became a, a movie. And also the uh, the gin game, 
which was the last play she did in 2015. But like I said, her accolades and her work was just so amazing. And and her, you know, she was, like I said, she still modeled. She did uh, quite a few uh, magazines as Ebony, Jet. I mean, just a list goes on and on. And even also, you know, she was rewarded for her hard work. I mean, there she is getting her hands into the, uh, you know, in the, in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And she even in 98 got even herself her own star on the uh, Hollywood Walk of Fame. And the awards she obtains, such as, um, you know, Image Awards, Peabody Awards. I mean, she was uh, given the, the Kennedy Honors in, in 2015. You know, President Obama gave her the um, the Presidential Award of Freedom. And right there, oh, there goes, uh, hey, hey, is that Robert Redford? <laughs> I ain't know Robert Redford got one, too. <laughs> and also, she had got Image Awards. I mean, sure, in, this is amazing. And also, in 2018, she had gotten an honorary Oscar. She is one of the, my, my she's, she's one of the eighth, one of eight women to hold an Oscar during her career. You know, like I said, you got to count, like I said, um, Hanny McDaniels, um, Halle Berry, um, Whoopi Goldberg, Octavia Davis, Jennifer Hudson. I mean, just just being you got to think about it. Black women, the strides they made. And she's the one that was the precursor to, the, who led for many of these young women to follow up to. And like I said, the friendships and professional and personally she she gained over the years, like actors like Cindy Portier and Harry Barry Fonte and Lawrence Fishburne. And her personal life, she was married one before, um, married to Vice Long. She did have a daughter out of it. And she had a, a, a on and off relationship with the young uh, um jazz legend Miles Davis. At the time she was, was married to the great Billy D. Williams. Um they were married for a time, eventually got divorced. Her and Miles got remarried in about the uh, in the uh, in the late seventies, and then got divorced, and in the uh, around about the eighties, uh, and then um, she helped him win off his uh, drug addiction in the nine in the uh, 90, in the eighties before he died in ninety one. But she was a queen and a legend. I mean, what she did and how she represented black women and just just black women in general across the world, you know, and how she set an example for not just just generally just black actresses just actors in general how to be how to you know represent yourself how to be and her you know just her her, her skill set is just beyond anything i just you know and like i said she was a queen a diva and it's just so sad to hear that we lost her you know and you know, and what she did and what she accomplished were all the time she had, you know, and it's just, I don't know. It just seemed like it's just, I don't know, she lived a long life and that's fair to say she did, you know, what? and it's just, you know, even though 2021 is starting off, you know, tough, she will understand that, you know, she's in a better place. And she accomplished so much with all the time she had. And just with the people she met, the things she did, and you know, and the and the you know, the ones she has touched. I mean, you know, I just you know, she just was inspiration, not just to our community, but to the world. We gotta realize that. You know what? It should be a special day to Miss Cecilia Tyson. Dedicated to her. You know. <sighs> We're going to miss you, uh, Queen. You were the best. And you were the greatest of all of us. God bless you. And be safe. This is your man on Rage George Page. Like. Don't like. Don't subscribe. I'm out.